Well, hello again, kids. This is Pastor Chibuso with another Children's Read Aloud. I am reading this week from the book, Why Am I Here? And it is authored by Constance Orbeck Nilsson and Aiken Duzakin. Uh, Duzakin. Again, I believe these are uh, Scandinavian names, and so I might be mispronouncing them. My apologies. This, like last week, is another one by Erdman's Books for Young Readers out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. As always, I truly hope that you find these stories to be meaningful, to be inspirational, to be life-giving. I um, have enjoyed these books uh, both for my daughter Diana, but also for myself. I find uh, children's books also have uh, great meaning for us as adults. And so I hope for those adults who might be listening, you get something uh, meaningful out of this uh, little story as well. So again, here is Why Am I Here? I wonder, why am I here in this exact place? What if I were somewhere else, somewhere completely different from here? Maybe some place on the other side of the earth. There are lots of people living there too, even more than here. Would I have been someone else then? Someone who also wondered, why am I here? What if I lived in a city with millions of people, all alone? There are lots of children who do that, live alone. On the street or under a bridge, then I would dream about being somewhere else. What if there were a war going on where I lived, and I had to hide until it was safe to come out, until the fighting was over? But what if the war never ended? Where would I go then? What if I had to make my way with thousands of others to an unfamiliar place where no one knew how long we could stay or how long we would have to wait before going home again? What if I had to move from place to place, and the only things I could keep were what I was able to carry with me? What would it be like to live like that? What if I lived in a place where I had to work all day long, deep inside a mountain where the sunlight doesn't reach, even though I was a child? There are lots of children who have to work. Could I do it? What if I lived where there was only desert, where the wind formed mountains of sand and blew away every trace of what had once been there? Could I live like that? What if I were in a place where there was only ocean and glaciers and melting icebergs, where the northern lights carved a path through the sky that no one could follow? What would I do there? What if I were in a place that no one else knew about, somewhere without any roads, only deep forests with Rivers that glimmered like trails through the trees. And it was so quiet that everything seemed to be holding its breath. Maybe I wouldn't even know that other places existed. What if there were floods where I was, and earthquakes, and everything was destroyed and wiped away, and no one had any food or water, Where would I go then? Would I come here? In that case, it would be good if someone said that I could stay here. Because this is where I should be. Isn't that just the way it is? This is the only place I know. I was born here, and all the people I love live here too. 
Maybe one day I will move somewhere else. I wonder if there is anyone who knows why we're here, or do we just think we know? Maybe there are other people who wonder the same thing. What if I were just here, without thinking about it? Everything might have been different if I were somewhere else. Why am I me, and not someone else? And why am I here? Maybe that's how it is. I am my own house, and I will be at home, wherever I am. The end. I hope you found that enjoyable. I hope it was a blessing to you. And as always, I look forward to being with you in person soon. God bless and take care.